This is how to export videos in Premiere Pro. Okay, so once you're done editing, just move your playhead to the start of where you want your export to be and hit I on your keyboard, then move it to the end of where you want your export to be and hit O. If it's off a little bit, just grab this little circle, slide it to the left, then go to the edge of this blue line here and drag it until it goes right to where you want it. If you notice, I have all this other stuff on my timeline. That stuff will not be exported, just this range of stuff right here. Then go up to export at the top right here and make sure that range is set to source in to out. Otherwise, if it's on entire source, it'll export everything. So I'm gonna switch it back to source in to out, then go up here and name it. So I'm gonna call this just export test. Under location, click on the blue, pick the folder that you want it to save it into and click save. As far as presets go, just click on this to drop it down. You'll see some in here. Just pick the one that's most appropriate. Apple ProRes would be like a really high quality video that you want to keep or send to a client. Otherwise, I would just pick one of these two right here, depending on the source of your video. So if yours is 1080, pick this. If it's 4K, pick this. If you don't know, just look right here under source. Mine is 2160 right there, so I would pick this one. Unless you want to upscale or downscale, then pick the appropriate one. I'm going to pick this one right here. You can also, in here, just pick Match Source Adaptive High Bitrate, and that will just match whatever you have right here. For format, keep it as H.264, unless, again, you're going for a really high quality thing, then there's a bunch of other options I'm not going to explain, but QuickTime is a nice, safe one for that. Next, you're going to go to Video and click on this little triangle arrow thing to open that up and select More right here. Then just slide down, and we're going to select two things, Render at Maximum Depth, and use maximum render quality. Then head down to encoding settings under performance, and you're gonna select between hardware encoding and software encoding. If you have hardware encoding, pick it, it's gonna go faster. If not, software encoding is fine, it'll just take a little bit longer to export. Next, you're gonna scroll down until you see a blue number right here under bitrate settings. For bitrate encoding, VBR1 pass is usually fine. If you have something really important, then maybe pick VBR2 pass, but just know it'll take twice as long to export. For target bitrate, if you don't care about file size, then just leave it as is. But if you're exporting for YouTube, make sure to reference the chart that I have over to the right so you can pick the bitrate that matches your footage. Having said that, most of the time I just put in 40 if I'm exporting something that's filmed at 60 frames per second, or I put 20 if it's filmed at 24 or 30 frames per second. As for everything else, you can probably just leave it as is, then just hit over here and hit export and you are done.